Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu amma ba'du fa'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Respected Chair Naib Amir Sub, Respected Amir Sub, Respected Chairman Nuri Sub, Moderator, Dear Guests, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. It's a real privilege for me to present a, the wonder of the ears from ears, from sonar to medical devices. My disclosures are a startup came out is uh, came out of this work, and I'll be telling you about. And I'm one of the co-owners. This, of course, is the book Revelation, Rationality, Knowledge, and Truth, which is the subject of today's session. And as has been said by Dr. Mansoor Qureshi Sahib, who introduced the session, beloved Azur considered this, as you can see in the dedication page, uh, a major, perhaps his major accomplishment of his life. At the bottom he says, I owe this achievement of my life to my late mother, Maryam, whose prayers always stood by my side, though she could not. Blessed be her soul. And of course, uh, Azur dedicated this book at the top I dedicate this book to Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed alayhi salam, the founder of the Amdiya Muslim Jamaat, who authored his two outstanding philosophical books, Brihina Ahmadiyya and Philosophy of Teachings of Islam, during the last two decades of the previous century. They dispelled darkness and filled the age with the light of divine wisdom, which radiated from his pen. Their brilliance was not confined to that century alone. They were to remain outstanding works for unique greatness for the centuries to come. With that, I think, as has been mentioned, Azur's work in other contexts, he's referred to it as a magnum opus. This book is certainly something that should be a required reading for Ahmadi, every Ahmadi Muslim scientist. And I can tell you, um, for me, it's been an inspiration and I'll tell you a little bit of one of the stories around this book. This is chapter 16, verse 79. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytwan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wallahu akhrajakum min ba'tune Ummahatikum la ta'lamuna shayya Shayya wa jalla lakum us-samma wal Rawal Afida La Lakum Tashkurun. In English, and Allah brought you forth from the wombs of your mothers while you knew nothing and gave you ears, eyes, and hearts that you might be grateful. I think we, as scientists, as to borrow uh, Sadr Sahib's expression, when we read the Holy Quran with our dopey as a scientist, we can see that the Holy Quran is really in perfect harmony with science. And this beautiful verse, it showed that the faculties of hearing and seeing and understanding have really been mentioned in the order in which they help man acquire knowledge. In this instance, being a pediatric surgeon myself, it's a reference to the newborn. And that, uh, the fact that this verse is in complete harmony with our current scientific understanding of newborn develop, embryologic and psychological and, and uh, faculty development is not surprising. Allah Almighty, he's the creator. He would certainly, his science and uh, medicine would be all, and the Holy Quran would be all harmonious. So in the newborn, certainly hearing is one of the first active senses of the newborn. It's well understood now that even pregnant mothers, uh, the fetuses, they can respond to sound. And after the hearing is developed, then we see 
that, that's, that the eyesight can be developed. My, the next speaker will be discussing eyesight. And then, of course, the faculty of understanding. In, in this verse, that's mentioned as the heart is, uh, and that's also, if you look at the meanings and the tafsir, the heart is certainly uh, the overall understanding and faculty uh, of uh, the brain. What's also interesting is that lower animals and newborns um, also keep their eyes closed for several days after birth. And that's also consistent with the fact that hearing is the first sense that comes more alive. And beloved Azur, I mean, it's, as I said, it should be required reading. He um, really expounded on this. And I really believe, it's my firm belief that scholars for literally hundreds of years will be looking at this work and many, many things will come out of it, inshallah. And this is an actual picture from Azur. Azur, of course, himself selected um, the pictures that were put into this book. And, um, and this is a, one of the pictures that, of course, beloved Azur had selected. And he also, of course, had approved every single uh, um, you know, title that was on this. So Azur had written here, the bat has a conscious command of the frequency of clicks it emits and thus can nego and can thus negotiate with perfect ease every interfering object. And this is a situation where, uh, and the prior speaker, Dr. Rafi Ahmed, beautifully I learned, uh, even though I've thought about this subject a lot, I learned a lot about even the air quality and characteristics you mentioned that impacts um, the sound wave progression and hadn't thought of it in that sense and it was very interesting to hear that. So Azur, when he gives his deep um, discourse on this in several pages in Revelation Rationality, uh, it's really in the context of, cre as you so beautifully stated, in the context of creationism. And really Azur is making a very compelling argument that these systems did not come up about by chance. These are the, these, if you study them and you dive deeper and deeper and deeper, you're, you will be more and more convinced this is the product of a single-mindedness. This, of course, we know is Allah Ta'ala's creation. And the, the deeper you dive, the more you will have that realization. So next, I would like to do a show, a video, of, um, about back to, bat active, loca active, lo active echo, or I should say echolocation. Active echo is the technology I'm going to tell you about in a few moments. So hopefully the video will work. Bismillah. During the day, some kinds of bats can see almost as well as humans, but when the sun goes down, nocturnal bats rely on their ears more than their eyes to navigate. This special navigation process is called echolocation. In echolocation, bats use a combination of their voice, ears, and echoes to create a perceptual map that allows them to see in the dark. You might be wondering where an echo comes from. An echo is the reflection of sound reaching a listener. Sound is a vibration that ripples away from its source in waves. 